Welcome, dear traders. You are watching a recap of the Asian session. Asian stock markets kicked off uh, Thursday with gains, and yesterday Wall Street rose to uh, so sharply that the Nasdaq jumped to almost a nine months high. What factors boosted optimism on Wall Street, and what sentiment prevailed on Forex? Watch our video review and find out. Bulls returned to the stock market after the comments of Joe Biden and Speaker of the House of Representatives Kevin McCartney on the debt ceiling. I'm confident that we'll get the agreement on the budget and America will not default, Biden said. Top Republican lawmakers also expressed hope about reaching a deal by the end of the week. After months of uh, confrontation, the parties are forced to negotiate to avoid default at least for the near future. The greenback also climbed higher despite the growing risk appetite. Its uh, rise was vibrant by the hawkish statements of the Fed policymakers. For example, Cleveland Fed President Loretta Messer believes that the central bank is not at the point yet where it can hold interest rates steady for a period of time due to stubborn inflation. The US dollar index has been growing for the third session in a row amid hawkish comments. It touched 103 points versus its rivals. The yields of government bonds are also going up. Treasury notes recovered to the levels of mid-April today, boosting the US dollar, and the later traded in the bullish channel of 102 and 103. The US dollar broke out of the multi-week narrow range. It could reach a new monthly high after breakout of the resistance level of 103.10, and the dollar yen pair kept rising due to a strong US dollar. In the Asian session, the pair advanced and even tested the resistance level of 137.85. As USD bulls and narrow control, the yen may climb above 138. The pay is likely to appreciate above the trading range of 137.30 and 137.90, hitting new annual highs. Although a pullback is possible due to increased volatility, the main trend remains bullish. The Aussie slid down due to a stronger US dollar. It was unable to retain growth despite increased optimism on Wall Street and rising oil prices. The main reason for the fall was the domestic labor market data. Australia's unemployment rate increased unexpectedly to 3.7% in April, up from 3.5% in March. Fresh figures signaled worsening labor conditions. Indicators for February and March were the lowest in Australia for almost a half a century. For the Reserve Bank of Australia, this report may serve as a signal to abandon monetary tightening. Such expectations increased the downward pressure on the Australian currency, which fell to 0.6633 at the end of the Asian session. What's more, it was also affected by hawkish comments of the Fed policymakers and China's slow economic revival, so there have been plenty of bearish factors that caused a decrease in the Australian dollar. The RTUSD pair was a trading in the price Canada of a 0.6631 and 0 0.6669. The downward is uh, likely to prevail in the near term. Despite its recent rebound from the intraday low, the New Zealand dollar was um, trying to consolidate in the range of 0.6235 and 0 0.6270. The greenback is rising now amid the upbeat macro starts and a hawkish statement by Fed officials. Besides, traders are confident that lawmakers will be able to avoid a catastrophic default. The Kiwi may gain ground thanks to the expectations from the New Zealand Treasury Department that the country is unlikely to slide into recession. The forecast for a budget surplus has been pushed out by a year as well. A sharp decline in the Kiwi to 0.6240 was quite predictable at the end of the Asian session. And that's all for now. Please leave your comments down below and see you soon.